of the Royal Canadian Mounties was feeling fit as a fiddle and ready for love. I'm feeling fit as a fiddle and ready for love, Nell. <laughs> you look terrible. What's that, Nell? I said you look terrible. Your posture's all slumped, your eyes have lost their sparkle, and your complexion is bad. Frankly, Dudley, you look kind of puny. Puny? But, Nell, I'm in the best of shape. Otherwise, what would I be doing in the Mounties? Puny, puny, puny. Here, I'll prove it to you. Let's arm wrestle. Oh, no, that's just being silly. You know you're no match for a mountie. Just put your muscle where your mouth is, Dudley. Two out of three, no? I saw that, Dudley. I'm not going to have a mountie of mine lose an arm wrestling contest with a mere slip of a girl. But, Inspector, you look terrible. Well, look at that posture. Dudley, you go and build yourself up and don't come back until you learn to stand up straight. It wasn't just coincidence that prompted Snidely Whiplash to open his thick Whiplash gym. It was money. And knowing that Dudley Do-Right wanted to build himself up, who better than Snidely Whiplash could help Dudley Do-Right build himself down? I'd like to enroll in your gym. Fine, fine. Now, the swimming pool is over there. Bowling alley's over there. We have ice skating rink, golf course, pool hall, bingo room, shooting gallery, race. I, I, I was thinking of a couple of dumbbells and maybe some sitting up exercises. You know, do you have a gym? Follow me. There. Where are the dumbbells? Oh, that's old-fashioned. Nobody uses dumbbells anymore. All exercise is done by machines. Actually, you don't have to do a thing. The machines will do it all. So Dudley Durite took the Vic Whiplash six-month course, and sure enough, upon completing the course, Dudley had built himself down. What happened to you, Dudley? You look terrible. What has happened, Nell, is that I have completed the Vic Whiplash bodybuilding course, and I'm as strong as an ox. Let's arm wrestle. Dudley, you have been cheated. Snidely Whiplash has not built you up. He has built you down. Goodbye, Nell. I'm leaving the Mounties. There is no place for a chicken-hearted, puny man. But what will you do? How will you live? I guess I'll just have to take a civilian job. Maybe someone has use for a puny man like me. Good luck, Dudley. Oh, 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 oh don't squeeze so hard already. Well, you did that on purpose, Nell. So Dudley Durright was forced to look for a job. For weeks, he was turned down because... You're too puny. Sorry we don't hire puny people here. You're so puny. Such a puny. And I don't get the job? He, I never saw such a puny. Then all at once, Dudley's luck changed. Dudley Do-Right, eh? All right, Do-Right, the job's yours. You know our quota, 20 trees a day. Think you can handle it? Oh, yes, sir. When Dudley was finally able to get the axe off the ground, he started to work with enthusiasm. And in four weeks' time, Dudley's muscles turned to steel. Dudley Do-Right was building himself up. Timber! Why, you're strong as an ox! No, ma'am, I'm puny. But Dudley didn't realize that he was building himself up. He still thought of himself as puny. Then one day, by mere accident, Dudley happened to run into Nell Fenwick. Don't touch me, you brute. Just because you have all those muscles, don't think you can have your way with a girl like me. Why, Dudley, is that you? Yes, Dudley, do write your faithful puny friend. Look out, it's a runaway horse! Run for your lives! I know I did the right thing when I left the RCMP, because there's no room for a puny Mountie in the RCMP. Dudley, you lifted that horse up with one hand. No puny man could do that. You don't have to put me on. I've learned to live with the fact that I am puny. Some people are just puny. Dudley, do right, you are not puny. If I could only believe you know. Dudley, it is all in your mind. Just keep saying, I am not puny, I am not puny. Then then you can get your money back from Snidely Whiplash. I'm not puny. 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 It's good to have you back, Dudley. I can't for the life of me think why I thought you were puny. It's understandable, sir. It all started when Nell and I were arm wrestling like this. Here, you see, we both gripped hands and... I saw that, Dudley. I'm not puny. I'm not puny. I'm not puny.
Some say great comedy comes from pain. Weeknights on Coffee TV from triple threat talent, writer, director, and actor Tyler Perry comes House of Pain. Weeknights at 6 and 6.30 on Coffee TV.